Alexander. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> put it through the machine in that hole there. It goes through. Uh, message of peace, message of love through my heart. He was pleased to have a tea with us. This is the first ever plane made with this painting. Good morning guys. You know where I am. If you clicked on this video, you saw the title. I can't believe I'm in Pakistan. So Pakistan has had some problems in the past and that is why people have certain thoughts about Pakistan. Which is why I didn't really tell anybody that I was coming here. But are you ready to shatter some expectations? I have a feeling Pakistan is going to open my eyes and hopefully yours to this beautiful country one that's much different to the one you've seen in the media and there's a lot more to Pakistan than you've seen. The only way to see what Pakistan is really like was to come here and see it for myself and to film it all and show you guys. So I will be here for a couple weeks, a few weeks, I'm not sure yet and we have a lot to see. So let's go outside. Good morning guys from Pakistan. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm here with Banaki, a group that is gonna take me around a couple of the cities here in Pakistan. And this is my first day, so I'm gonna give you my first impressions of Pakistan. Can't believe that I'm here. Okay, first we're starting out with some breakfast. So I just can't believe that I'm here. Supposedly this place, is very good. We're gonna get some chai, very famous here in Pakistan. They drink chai, which is tea, all the time. And some other kind of breakfast that's famous. Let's find out. So guys, we're at Quetta Alamgir Hotel and we're just headed to where they're making the parathas. Okay, so here he is making the paratha. We are about to have this for breakfast. He said you can dip it in tea or you can have it with an egg, which is what I'm going to do. But I guess we'll try both. But it is a bread and it kind of flakes off. So in a few minutes, I'll be having my first meal in Pakistan. Pakistani food. It looks like it's a little similar to India. I went to India a couple years ago and obviously Pakistan broke off from India. Uh, not that long ago, so they have a lot of similarities, but I'm gonna be interested in seeing the differences between Pakistan and India as I travel around here, and especially in the food, like this. Brother? Wow, it's a good, good operation. So let me come back in their kitchen here, and you can see kind of the assembly line of people. This guy throws the dough down and then he rolls it and then he passes it to his brother right there and then he passes it on again and that's where they fry it at the end there. It's so cool to see how these places work with all the people working. They have this fan here, it's extremely hot and these are the conditions that they work in here. It's just typical, you'll see these kind of situations all over the place. Brother, there is Bini. Video is not. No, 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 I'll say hello. <laughs> Making a lot of friends here in Pakistan. How are already. you, my brother? Your hello. Name, your name? Alex. Alex. Alexander. Alexander. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my name is uh, Rosuddin. Yes. Uh, nice to meet you. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Maybe, huh? 
Okay, first Pakistani breakfast. I can't believe I'm here at all. So we're at a famous place for paratha. Thank you. So this is paratha in Pakistan. So I haven't tried it yet, but it's basically it's a bread product. It's a flaky, crispy bread. Kind of reminds me of a croissant. And then this is an omelette in Pakistan. The omelette has green chilies, onions, and some pepper. And then we have chai. Ooh, that's hot. In Pakistan, chai is just black tea and milk and sugar. So a little bit different than the chai that I get next door in India. Let's try this first. Wow. That's awesome. You again? Sure. You go ahead with these two. I'll start with this. Look at this paratha. Taste test of the paratha. Just ripped off. A nice steamy piece there. It is so oily, so good. It's fla it just flakes off. It is a lot like a croissant. Okay, this is my my guide for a few hours is Shiroz. He's with Minaki, who I'm with today, and he's showing me the breakfast right now. And he just told me that I should take the paratha and dip it in tea, right? Yeah, it's the, it's the best way to have it. So you can either have it with tea or you have it with an egg, like this. You just exactly, yeah. You can just mix and match. Okay, let's try it in the tea. So am I supposed to use one hand to rip it? We'll define tea. <laughs> but to, but a local would a local use one hand? No. So we're gonna take the paratha and we're gonna dip it in the tea. And here in Pakistan, typically you'll use one hand like this to rip it. You don't use your other hand. Which I'm not good at yet. I'm gonna take a little bit like this and dip it in this black tea and milk. Oh, stripping. Stripping with chai. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. It kind of turns it into something sweet, more like a dessert, more like like a donut or something. The rest of this is gonna go in my tea. <laughs> Take one hand, rip it off, rip off a piece, and use that same one hand to <laughs> rip off the omelet. That is skill. <laughs> Shiro just gave me a piece because I'm having trouble breaking it off. It's my first day in Pakistan. I will learn how to do this better. So supposedly, a lot of times when you eat food on the street in Pakistan, your napkins are like this. Basically pieces of paper. <laughs> so we're using a lot of these because you're using your hands here. Using your hands on the paratha, which is really oily and then the omelet as well is very oily so we need a ton of these and Sir Rose was telling me occasionally you'll get yellow pages <laughs> like from a yellow page book green tea and um, you're supposed to squeeze that lemon in also okay. first Pakistani meal done paratha, two different kinds of teas Pakistani omelet that was great Shukriya. Shukriya, okay. yes, thank you Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. 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 Video. <laughs> Making a lot of friends here in Pakistan. This is my name is Mamad Akram. <laughs> <laughs> they all want to say hello. Man, the people of Pakistan, they are very interested when a foreigner is here. I think I just met a hundred people <laughs> while I was having breakfast. Every bite, new person came up to say hi. Good people, they're all very happy, a lot of smiles, and I'm sure we'll meet a lot more people today.
sunglasses seller right here. Uh, he, he asked for like 500 rupees and I said 100 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he said, wouldn't take it? No, he said that uh, for 100 rupees I would give you a kid's glasses. <laughs> <laughs> we can go inside again. This is... This is the oldest mosque. You can buy So guys, this is Bilal. He's gonna be taking me around today, all around Karachi. So, uh, what's the next place we're going to? Truck Art by Heather Ali. Truck Art. So, you see these trucks, these things that look like buses going around and they're painted, the ones I was just showing you, extravagantly painted and we're meeting an artist who actually does this. And he's famous in Karachi or in Pakistan? In the world. Like in the world, he, he has been to US and other countries as well. Oh wow! Does because he, does he paint other things or is it just just these trucks? He's no, famous other for? things as well. Like he paints uh, rickshaws as well, some wall murals as well. Wow! He's What's... a talented person, and we are lucky to meet him. Yeah. What's his name? Heather Ali. Okay, we're stopping right here. We just saw some sugarcane juice being made. So let's check out how they do it. So you take the sugarcane right here, put it through the machine in that hole there. It goes through, processes it, and the juice comes out on the other side. And then they throw the excess away in this bag here. Pretty cool. First sugarcane juice of Pakistan. Ooh. This is so refreshing, that's why it's so popular here in Pakistan because it is extremely warm, as you can see, very, very hot today. And this is so refreshing while you're overheated. And it tastes good, it's just, it's just this, just the sugar cane reeds. So it's just like a, a sweet, sugary water, basically. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, this was a perfect place to stop because even this, as you can see it has wheels, so transportation, for some reason the transportation here in Pakistan, they, they paint a lot of these things. So even the sugarcane carts, they paint them and that's what we're going to see, this famous guy who paints things just like this. You can see the different symbolism on there. There are different birds, there's a peacock. There is a landscape with some mountains. So a glass like that of the sugarcane juice is 20 rupees. So I just converted that and that is about 12 cents US. Extremely cheap. I don't know how it could get any cheaper than that. And you saw the size of that glass. Big old glass of that juice. Pakistan is extremely cheap. I'm excited to see how much other things cost. This is the free food services for poor people who cannot afford food and they can come here and sit in their food. And they can eat plenty of food, like anything they want to eat. Nice to meet you. How long does it take for this one? one is, uh, all is uh, four, five, four to five days. Four, four to five days. For this? For this? Or for this uh, one day. One day. Wow. I'll complete generator take you five days only. 
डिपेंड ऑन डिजाइन डिपेंड ऑन क्लाइंट डिपेंड ऑन मनी इतना टाइम लग जाता है जैसे ये वाली बॉल है वॉल बनाने में एक में चार दिन कम से कम चार से पाँच आपका भी Where have you made paintings around the world? Uh, message of peace, message of love through my art uh, around the world. And you, so you said Japan, uh, yes, USA. Yes, yeah. yes uh, Japan, Australia, uh, USA, Argentina, India, China, Turkey, wow. Belgium, England. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, Austria, France. Germany. Wow. So he is very, very famous artist, and he does obviously the things we just saw. But we're gonna look at some planes now. You said the the first painted plane. Yes, yes. yes this yes, one. Yes, yes. This one is my favorite. This one. It has some special message about it. Sparrows are for peace. The landscape. Is this a particular place? Or? This is Kashmir. This is Kashmir. This is the Kashmir. Kashmir. Oh, yeah. okay. So the, northern. This is this Pakistan. is this is the beautiful part of the Pakistan, but unfortunately, it's occupied. So it's really yeah. that Kashmir, uh, Banega Pakistan. Kashmir will one day be a part of Pakistan. Pakistan. Live and let live. As you might know, Kashmir has been having some problems for a very long time between India and Pakistan. And so this is a message of peace for Kashmir. His name is Abhinandan, Wing Commander Abhinandan. And uh, he was pleased to have a tea with us <laughs> while he came to Pakistan to drop some bombs. But unfortunately, he dropped himself here. <laughs> he hit by our wow. pilot. So he didn't end up dropping the bombs? No, <laughs> he ended up dropping himself here. Oh, he crashed? No, 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 he, he was shot. He ejected himself from the plane while his plane uh, got crashed. And he ejected himself. He was caught by the mob there. The local people beat okay. him while Pakistan army save him, bring them to their base, give him first aid and then give him some tea. And when he had the tea, he said the tea was fantastic. Okay. He was released by our uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan. Just for peace, just show the world to see that how much we are peaceful people. So we we love his family. We give him gift for his children, his son. He request also. Yeah. So we give him back just for humanity. This actually, he said the, the meaning of this. The tea is fantastic. This is oh, the okay, tea okay. which the he meaning. had in Pakistan. Like yeah. this is the Pakistani flag. <laughs> the tea he had in Pakistan. This guy had in Pakistan. Wow. <laughs> So this is this is the captain who shot him. So that is so cool. This this mural basically on a plane. It tells that whole story. So it's not only him with the T there. Here's the man who shot down his plane. Shows the plane. Shows the plane coming down. Shows him ejected, going down, and that's where he fell. It's not just beautiful art. It has a lot of meaning as well. So does every piece have meaning, or some of it is just decoration? Uh, add in truck art. Mm -hmm. uh, birds, trucks. birds. Uh, yeah, a lot of birds on the trucks. Uh, and yeah. uh, goat, bull, tiger, lion, everything. Yeah. To some extent, uh, it has some meanings, like the, the front in, part, in, and then it's the continuation school. of the truck art. School. Pakistani language is different areas. Oh, okay. Pashto, Sindhi. So this is impressive. This is the first ever plane made with th this painting. So the other one was interesting because the story of this one is interesting because it's the first. Welcome. Mm -hmm. This welcome in Pashto. Flying with love. Or flying with love? Yes. No, flying with love. This like, track art style. Uh, the track art, it's very symmetrical. It's almost the same yes, on yes. both sides. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. An eye over here, there will be an eye over oh. here. A bird over here, a bird over here. Yes, yes. This is the national bird. National oh. bird. In Pakistan, you'll see trucks are beautifully painted with a certain style of art. Look at this. This is a plane. 
painted in that same style. So Pakistan's national bed. More eagles. More eagles. More eagles. People flying here, bold eagle. Bold eagle? Yes. People different. People here like in interior scene, uh, peacock, mm -hmm. national national bird. National bird. What does it mean? The peacock. They it means something different. No, people like colorful. Ah, for the color. Colorful, yes. Yeah. What about the? <laughs> there's a flying tiger here. Look at this. Does this have a, a meaning? Well, this is my, just... this is my choice. Oh, okay. He just wanted to do a flying tiger. <laughs> That's cool. Or a lion. First drug art plane in the world. First paint plane in oh, Wow. Art. That is so cool. Yeah. Before we go, we have to check out this rickshaw. Completely painted. So much symbolism. So much all over every crevice of this thing. Check out the inside. Even the roof. Look, even the wheel around here and all of this is painted. Look, the details. This, this is pretty much the bottom here, also painted. Side mirrors here, ornamentation. Paradise. Rent. Yeah, paradise. Rent. What is this? This is a fire trolley. For the this fire extinguisher. <laughs> so we even have some benches over here. Look at the pattern on that. After being in that heat out there, we're gonna have a little bit of lunch here. They invited us. So this is dal, dal, yeah. right? Dal, which is uh, dal is basically beans, some kind of spice, some kind of sauce. Roti? Yeah, roti. Mm. This is chapati also. Roti, chapati, same. Uh, yeah. I went to India, so similar, yeah, yeah, similar. Thing. India, we have same culture Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we take Look some onion and then we make this anibala. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. Okay. Uh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, see you again. For some art. Everybody, you.